Hey guys, it's Lance of Max Sound Solutions, and today I've gone a little crazy again. Say hello to my little and I created a RAID 0 out of two Thunderbolt 5 drives, the Acasis TB501, link in the description, with a discount code. Uh, they're not cheap, but they are fast. I mean, they're ridiculous. And does anybody really need these kinds of speeds? Only if you're editing multicam 8K RAW do you probably need speeds like this. But I just can't help myself. I got a tinker. So Acasis sent me another one to try this out with, and it's actually working really well. I uh, stayed up late last night and backed up my data and then created the RAID 0 with two two terabyte NVMEs. You know, I don't recommend necessarily doing this, but I'm running my home folder as usual off the external drive. And I do recommend running your home folder off an external drive, saving up all that storage, but it's the RAID 0 part that, you know, it gets more risky. And I've got two two terabyte Western Digital NVMEs, link in the description for those as well. This is the Mac Mini M4 Pro. Pretty good speeds, although when you let this run, the speeds start to tank pretty quickly. But there are the peak speeds with Blackmagic speed test, just for a quick reference. And also for reference, we have the Acasis TB501 Pro with a single Western Digital NVMe, and we're getting close to 6,000 megabytes read and write on the Thunderbolt 5 port of the Mac Mini M4 Pro. And this is amorphous disk mark with the Mac Mini SSD on the left and one single Acasis TB501 on the right. And even a single Acasis TB501 Pro is faster than the internal SSD on the Mac Mini M4 Pro. Plus the fact that it has way better sustained write speeds than the internal drive on the Mac Mini M4 Pro. And here are the RAID 0 results. You can see we pretty much doubled our speed, almost double. So that is pretty amazing that you can get these kind of speeds off this tiny little Mac Mini with two Thunderbolt 5 enclosures. So here's the M4 Max Mac Studio, which just came out, and the two terabyte drive posted by Atom Talks Tech. And you can see that we are crushing those speeds. And from what I understand, the M3 Ultra internal SSD speeds are not any quicker than the M4 Max. And when you have larger chips like the 4 terabyte or the 8 terabyte on the internal drive, you will get faster speeds than he's getting here with the 2 terabyte. Now, of course, I'd love to get the brand new M4 Max Studio, but I've got the M4 Pro Mini. So no need really for me to run out and buy that right now just to make a video about it. Like all these other YouTubers, seem to be able to afford to do, like buy every Mac that just comes out. I can't do that. But what I would do if I did have one of these is I would certainly be doing the RAID 0 and you'd still have two more available Thunderbolt 5 ports to run monitors off of. I would definitely dedicate two of my ports to two Acasis TB501s and I would be rocking. And it's interesting that Atom Talks Tech has the M4 Max with two terabyte drive, and he's getting the same speeds I got with the M1 Max with one terabyte. In theory, the two terabyte should be faster, and you would think with the M4 chip, it would be a little faster. So I wonder what's going on there. If you wanna buy refurbished or open box models, iPower Resale is the place to go. I bought my iPad Pro from them, and I also bought my M2 MacBook Air from them, saving quite a bit over the Apple refurbished store. And I have a link in the description for them as well, or up above. And now we're gonna copy 180 gigs from our Acasis RAID 0 to the Mac Mini M4 Pro internal SSD. We're gonna just speed through this, cause I recorded it. And at first we're getting three gigs a second, sort of like the maximum it can handle, right? But then it drops pretty severely, pretty quickly, and it's averaging like 400, 300 megabytes per second, and I'm copying 187 gigs. So there we go, finishing right at two minutes and 43 seconds. So that was writing from 
the RAID 0 to the Apple SSD, internal SSD. Now we're gonna do the opposite, and we're gonna take the 187 gigs and copy it to the Acasis. And of course, the Mac Mini is maxing out its read speeds. It can only go so fast, so it can't even keep up with the Acasis. But man, that is going quick. We're at 100 gigs in 22 seconds. That's really fast. And this is actually faster than the new M4 Studio internal drive. And this took us 43 seconds. That is crazy. 187 gigs copied in 43 seconds. The only way you're going to get the full speeds out of this is to have two of these raids copying to each other, right? Otherwise, you're being limited by the Apple SSD. Most people are going to say, number one, you don't need those speeds. That's true, unless you're editing like 8K raw footage in multicam situation or for whatever else crazy high-end thing you might be doing. So the way I set this up, I had to erase my TB501 that had all of my data on it. But before I did that, I made a time machine backup and I have a secondary backup of it as well. So I reformatted it and it was a little tricky because I had some sim links and it didn't want to let me reformat it. So I had to get rid of a couple of things, but I got it reformatted formatted and then I attached the new drive and I made a RAID 0 of the two drives with disk utility and then I just copied my entire backup of my hard drive back onto the newly rated drive with my home folder inside it. And seeing as I named the drive exactly the same, everything just worked. I didn't have to do anything except to place all the folders that were in the backup back onto the root directory of the newly formatted RAID 0 drive. And macOS didn't even know I had reformatted it. I didn't even have to reset the path and users and groups to my home folder because I kept the drive name exactly the same. Had I changed it, that would have created a lot of issues. My sim links would stop working, etc. So let's create a RAID 0. So basically you just come up here and you go to the RAID assistant and you go in and you stripe it as a RAID 0. Then you hit next and this screen comes up where you go select the two NVMEs that you want to put into the RAID. And they have little check boxes next to them, so just make sure you're picking the right drives because you're gonna be erasing them. And once you pick the drives, you hit next, and then you're gonna come up with this window and you have to select APFS and then pick your chunk size. And the small chunk size is for like, if you're working on databases or little tiny text files all the time, you wanna select that. And if you want high performance for large files, you select the larger chunk. And I chose 256 because I'm pushing around big chunky video files. So is it worth doing this? Probably not. I just like to mess around. That is my problem. And as we see, look, it even shows there's a home on there. That's interesting. That's showing that the Acasis is my home drive. Never saw that before. So long story short, we're getting amazing speeds with the dual Acasis TB501 Pros and a RAID 0 with Western Digital Black SN850X SSDs. I think I'm going leave it this way because I have a time machine backing up my data every hour. So if these drives for some reason go down, I still got my time machine backup. And I had done this before with two Zyk drives and I never had any issues. All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me that thumbs up and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.